What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Thunderbite29 here, and yep, I am back today with another video. And today, we're going to do a short, different kind of video. As in my latest video, I basically shat on this season, talk about why it was so bad. I figure today, let's talk about something great that came from the season. Something that I think that they did almost perfectly right. And it was just great in a lot of ways. But before I begin, I just want to say if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, click the bell if you do not want to miss another one. So without further ado, let's begin, shall we? So as I had mentioned in my latest video, I talked about why it was so bad. Like the season had a pretty bad loop pull. It had a lot of crossovers and the web shooters were annoying. But I figured the only thing I really did not complain about in the season was the map. In my opinion, I think they did a really great job with the map. One thing I love about it, you have multiple biomes. Like you have normal biomes, you have snow biomes, and you have a desert biome. Instead of just being two. And another thing that I loved about the map is you have chapter one and chapter two memories added to it. Like for example, you have chapter one locations, Greasy Grove and Shifty Shafts. And then you had Till the Towers get put in there later in the season. And you also have a Chapter 2 location in there as well. You have the Grotto, but it's not the Grotto. And it has a different layout, but it has the same concept. You kill a bunch of IO guards, you kill the boss, and you get its boss weapon. And you unlock a key to a vault to get the best weapons in the game. Except they're not the best weapons, but they're still good weapons. Like, I love that concept that they added in there as well. And I know some people are going to think I'm going to complain about the Daily Bugle location because it's a crossover. But I know why it's in there. Because around the same time that this season came out was around the same time the movie came out. Even though I think it's a great location and it's understanding of why it's there. But I think the layout could have been better. Like... Whoever kills, like, a Spider-Man boss would get his web shooters. Like, they should have did that like they did with the Grotto. But other than that, it's still a great location, and it's understandable of why it's there in the first place. But everything else is perfect around the map. Like, I love the locations of it. I love the concept of it. And I love that tornado that they put in there. At least they could do a better tornado than Battlefield 2042 can. But there's only one part that a little bit kind of disturbs me. A little bit and that is one of the locations names and I'm sure a lot of you are gonna know what I'm gonna say the location Camp Cuddle I mean it's not a bad location but the name of it though I mean I understand why they named it that because I think they named it after Cuddle Team Leader which was one of the main faces of Fortnite back in chapter one but the name kind of sounds a little disturbing like especially if you're like my age for example you would kind of think differently. You'd think that it kind of sounds sexual in a way. According to the dictionary, the definition of the word cuddle is to hold close in one's arms as a way of showing love or affection. Which is why I kind of find this name disturbing. And when I first heard of this location, I was like, is this game becoming Grand Theft Auto? I know Epic Games probably didn't do this intentionally, but... I think they should have came up with a better name, like Camp Team Leader or something like that. It, it would have been better just, than just using Camp Cuddle. Like, it sounds kind of disturbing. It kind of sounds inappropriate in a way. It's a great location with the wrong name. But other than that, this was still a pretty great map. And in my opinion, this was like the only greatest thing about Chapter 3 so far was the map. Everything else sucked. But the map was almost done perfectly right. This map was a great change up. And it was a change up that should have been done a long time ago. I'll just tell you right now. If this season was chapter 2 season 9. And we were still in the chapter 2 map. Instead of this one. But the loop pole is completely the same like it is this current season. This definitely would have been the worst season ever. But because they added a new map. It's pretty much the only reason why I'm saying. This was not the worst season ever as I had thought before. I hope they do not mess up this map too much. And I hope that they'll fix the loophole next season. But anyways guys, what did you think of the map? Tell me in the comments. 
like this video and subscribe if you agree. And thank you all so much for watching and thank you all so much for the overwhelming amount of love and support. You are the best as we are now slowly approaching 3,650 subscribers. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Share this video and click the bell if you do not want to miss another one. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. And this is Thunderbite29, signing off.